the scent of a woman. Pauly 12 and Marshall 11 were down Pauly's basement playing with trains. Pauly Marshall said, Last night when my sister and I took our baths, she put her finger in her thing and wanted me to smell it. It's weird, like cheese. Ooh, get her over here, said Pauly. A few minutes later, Ellie trooped down the stairs. Nine years old, blonde ponytail, eight pounds plumper than perfect. Let Pauly smell your thing, Marshall ordered. I don't want to. Pauly raced upstairs and came down with half a bag of marshmallows, wagging them in Ellie's face. All those for me, she wondered? Yep. She pulled her fingers out of her shorts and held them under Pauly's nose. He inhaled deeply. She tried, but he wouldn't let her pull her hand away, studying the aroma like a sommelier. When he gave her the marshmallows, she wept bitterly, for they were hard as stones. That night, Pauly flailed in bed, turning Ellie's aroma over in his mind. Suddenly, getting laid, something he'd thought of as only for adults, seemed a possibility. He would have sex with Ellie. It couldn't take more than a pint of chocolate ice cream. If only I had a vagina, he thought, I could stick my finger in it and smell it any time I want. It was a thought he heard voiced many times over the next decade, young men wishing they had their own vaginas to play with. Only once did he hear a girl say she wished she had a penis, and that was to pee standing up. Could Freud have had it backwards? <laughs>